are going to see 13, you know, do their best to space, and they have really good spacing. Just space, you know, Kazuya out, and the only thing that Kazuya can realistically do is just bob and weave, like, you know, a little boxer. Which I will say, though, if there's a man who can bob and weave, it is Kazuya. He has that, like, unique dash that gives him, like, invincibility from his, like, waist up, and not to mention, Electric Wind Godfist might be one of the best whiff punishing moves in the game, and that's the biggest Marth Cena swordy counterplay in general is with punishing aerials. So I think this is pretty scary for 13. You you cannot be off point once against Kazuya. Absolutely, oh, no. because what happens there is you're already taking 41% and you could be taken to death if you're not just entirely careful. I feel like we are seeing a lot of dashing from 13 and just trying to space out but i feel like they could be you know using a little bit of a mix of both dashing and walking right now because honestly you don't want to be in too much of a position to get hit by something Ooh. like you know just a command grab just because you were out of position but we getting these parries in hello yeah i will say i'm um, playing 13 before a very aggressive Marth is not one to really sit back too much. Likes throwing out a lot of aerials because they're so strong. But that's definitely play that you cannot afford to do against Kazuya. Kazuya wants you to try and throw a bunch of stuff out so um, he can with punish. So I think one thing that could be really... Look at that. I mean, that's the that's you can't exactly fair why. me. The you can't fair me move. Mm -mm, that's exactly what happened. You tried to fair and you got punished for it. You have to be very careful about how you're actually placing a lot of your tools because if you're not careful, stuff will happen like that where now you're at 116% and now you have to potentially kill, you know, Kazuya, which might be just a little bit hard. Jazzy, can I just say, 13's mm -hmm. at kill percent right now. Very, I mean, you're very not much, wrong. Very much at kill percent right now if Dark Blues is super on point Ooh, and, and still alive. That was a very nice deck, by the way. Yeah, definitely as Kazuya, you gotta be on point with text. This character has a very slow rising recovery, really easy to intercept. The F throw, and this is terrifying. 181% does not even need the DLC mechanic. You have in-game rage. Oof. Absolutely. You're literally just putting, you know, more fire to the fuel. And Ooh. that nair's gonna take it. You needed that if you were 13. Mm -hmm. You cannot let that stock go on too much longer. One thing I would like to see from 13's gameplay, obviously a really aerial-based Marth, but Marth has good ground moves. The down tilt, the F tilt, great for spacing from a distance and could potentially stop Kazuya before he gets things going because you won't even let him get close to you in the first place. So just like that, I think uh, 13 could benefit a lot from doing some more grounded play, more than you probably would against most characters. Absolutely. Ground play is probably one of the most important things, getting that neutral going on. And, you know, right now we yeah. just saw, you know, Dark Blues in the lead, but he just lost that lead right now. And I mean, as good as Kazuya's advantage is, for every good advantage, there's a bad disadvantage, it seems. And Kazuya there, reaping the, the uh, reaping that, I guess, or taking, whatever. <laughs> Kazuya, well, as good of his advantage, his disadvantage is also bad, but who cares about that? Because now 13's at 90%. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Dark Blues is trying to call out so many, like three jumps in the span of like five seconds, and what what happened was missed all of them. <laughs> hey, but if he got one, if he got one, that was a dead Marth, so you can't totally blame him. It is kind of at a percent difference where if you're Kazuya, you can throw a lot of stuff out with a little bit of the with a little bit of room to afford mistakes. But not for too much longer now, only at, uh, at 70%. This can be scary. Absolutely. It is looking like it's a little bit scary for 13 because they're at 146%. And it'll take just one command grab, one, you know, kick to actually send 13 flying. I like that double jab from 13. Really the only move that would hit in that situation with your, if you're Marth. But look at that. The whiff punish king. Hitting his toe in the air, punching Marth to his death. Absolutely. And it's also looking like due to the movement of, you know, um, Dark Blues, it's really hard for 13 to actually space a lot, which kind of looked like might be the issue. But, you know, again, it's just, I feel like 
as much as they want to kind of space their moves, they have to still play a little bit more grounded. They have to play in more of a situation where they don't really want to, you know, commit too much because I'll, as much damage as you could be doing, it could be really bad in the end for you. Yeah, if you're 13, you saw the second stock, you saw how much you can punish Kazuya once you get him on ledge, once you get him off stage, you know? This character has one, the slowest jump in the game, kind of stays in the air for you to just chop down if you're Marsh. So it's gonna be, um, you're go you don't need to force an opportunity. You can wait for it to come to you and then do so much off of it. So we're gonna need to see some more patience, but the cloud switch. Ooh. Now I love some cloud in Ultimate. I think uh, he's a cool character. And I I'd love to see some good old sword versus sword action. This gonna be a, a bit of a, a slob, slobber knocker, is that a word? <laughs> I think, I don't know if that's a good word. I don't know if it's a good word. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what's like a what's a word slugfest? Is that a word? What's like the word for like people fighting? <laughs> what do you mean people fighting? Like like, <laughs> like really aggressively? Like oh they're they're gonna be going at it. They're going at it. Look at the slop. See I was right. It is slobber knocker. Well that's one word. <laughs> that, that is a word. That is a word. Oh god. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, scrapping. The scrapping. That's a good one. That's a that's a real PG one. <laughs> oh god. But you know, we're actually seeing, you know, 13 doing pretty well. And not only that, we've seen a little a lot of situations more so where Dark Blues has just been in disadvantage for a long time. Something that we haven't really seen from that last game with Kazuya. Ooh, but that up smash is going to take that first dock, and we could see a pretty good lead coming in from Dark Blues, trying to, you know, pile on the damage. With 17, not too much, but... Oh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Gonna leave us at 51%. Trying to catch the drift away right there with the limit uh, neutral B. But yeah, Cloud, um, I think, has really solid damage racking up. Kind of different from Marth, I'd say. I think Marth nickels and dimes a bit more, but Cloud can get some combos going, especially ending with that cross slash. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the added effect of being able to kill no matter, like, where you're actually at, you know, Mars doesn't really have too much of that. They have to rely on a lot of their, you know, tipper hits to actually get a lot. Ooh. Okay, very nice punish out of shield right there. Ooh. Trying to play a little bit more of neutral. Not really wanting to commit too much, which is definitely what I'm liking to see. Oh man, they have not hit. They did not hit each other for like 15 seconds right there. It's the neutral, man. Yeah, they scrapping for sure. And right there, I was gonna compliment 13, able to get back to a just like um, get out of that ledge position. But Dark Blue is on point. You know, you have a big sword too. You don't care about Marth swinging when you could do clouds, golf up smash, and poorly hit it. Uh, Hit, a, hit him out, so yeah. And not only that, that was the second time that, you know, 13 died for an up smash because they wanted to jump, especially out of shield. You know, just really good on Dark Blue's actually catching on to that habit, and now we're at a situation where 13 is at 48%, 60, and climbing because this juggling situation is looking a little bit hard for them to actually get out of. Yeah, it's 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 kind of a, a get, like I think Mart's biggest strength is probably gonna be like edge guarding in this matchup. But when Dark Blues has never really been in a position where he's like trapped on ledge or off stage this whole game, it's just been able to uh, uh, totally outspace Marth with your bigger sword and definitely pressure him more on landing because Marth cannot swing out of everything when you have a bigger sword too. Absolutely, you don't want to be swinging too much because that might just oh, a very bad time for you. Nice grab. Really, we have not seen grabs all game. So, you know, when you're landing with aerials so much, mixing it up and doing a tomahawk grab in these clutch last hit situations could be really beneficial. It's looking like 13 is trying their hardest to put on a lot of damage, and that was a very, you know, rough call out for Dark Blue trying to call out with that up smash, but. Ooh. They don't really have to really worry about much because they are at only 46%, but it only takes, you know, one thing to actually kill you, and we will see that taking 
you know, the game 2-0. Very nice from Dr. Luz. Yeah, when you're at high percent, your invincibility is very limited on ledge. So mm -hmm. right there, Dark Blue's realizing that letting up, it's pretty tough to react to that limit blade beam. So just letting it go. And uh, but blade, blade beam, bl limit. Blade, 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 blade beam, blade, blade. Anyways, let it rip. Anyways, so we got to talk to you guys. <laughs>